name is Robin Gensler. I'm a software consultant with Walters Kluwer CCH. This video will explore the two different methods of entering time in time entry, standard time entry or project-based time entry. Standard time entry is the system default. The process for entering time using standard time entry is pretty straightforward. You start by entering the client and then the service code, then the total number of hours. You may also tie your transaction to a project if there is one assigned to the client and are able to track the status of the project using standard time entry. Something to note regarding the service code list in standard time entry. This list contains all of your firm's service codes. Now, there's a few ways that you can control this list. One is to simply start typing what you know about the service code and the system will locate that service code based on your firm's service code structure. Another option that users have is to trim the list of service codes based on the type of work they generally perform. To do this, click on the Preferences menu and select My Service Code Lookups for Time Entry. This opens a window where users can exclude certain service codes from their list. For example, they might exclude all audit service codes to trim them from their service code list. Notice now that when I search for audit service codes, they are not visible because I have excluded them from my list. If your firm is project centric, you might consider enabling project based time entry. You will find this method to be a more productive and efficient way for your staff to enter their time. By the way, you must also have the appropriate security rights to switch users from standard to project based time entry. Let's take a look at how to do this. First, open the administration module. From the Firm menu, select Security Setup. In this example, I will change time entry for just one employee by selecting the bullet next to Individual Employee Privileges and then entering the staff member's name. Then scroll down about halfway or so where you will find the Time Entry Project Based Entry option. Selecting Yes will enable the Project Based Time Entry method. Click Close, which will save your changes. Now if we go back into Time Entry, we will see that the order of the fields have changed. The client name remains first, the project field is now second, and the tracking status option is third. Then we have the service code, hours, and memo fields. One of the best advantages of using project-based time entry is that your firm is able to link service codes that directly relate to the selected project. Notice that when I select 1120S project, all of the service codes are specific to 1120S tax return and expenses. Linking service codes is done at the project type level and will help prevent your staff from selecting an incorrect service code when entering their time. It also helps expedite the time entry process. Thank you for taking the time to review this video. We hope that you found it interesting and informative.